My name is John Beck. I'm currently Communications Director for the Anthroposophical Society of America. Uh, years ago, I was General Manager of uh, Public Radio Stations in Boston and New York. And in the 1990s, I was able to be involved in the Spring Valley community-based productions of Rudolf Steiner's mystery dramas. I was able to be in the third and fourth dramas. And uh, we actually took the fourth drama as part of English Week to the Gertianum and uh, got to perform it in downstairs, not on the big stage, but there. So I feel very close to that fourth mystery drama and always kind of felt well. The fifth mystery drama, August 1914, was World War I. But Rudolf Steiner intended to take it somewhere further. and. Uh, when we heard that there would be a professional English language production uh, by Portal Productions that Mark Levine was arranging, and uh, I didn't have much experience in that, but agreed to, to help try to uh, make it happen in New York City. Uh, it got two performances at Symphony Space in Upper Broadway, a very creative space, uh, has a very loyal following for all kinds of artistic events there. And uh, so being immersed in it already, um, I was involved in arrangements until the curtain went up and then immediately was experiencing the difference of a real professional production and the imagination involved. The first scene is in a conference room in a business uh, with a table and plans on it, uh, but this table was angled down toward the audience. It was a funny kind of a table, so there's but it, it, it led you right into the scene. There's, there's really an enormous amount of thought about the production qualities. I know the actors had re rehearsed in a special way. And so this first scene, which could be a little bit talky, was you know, brought you right in. You, you got into what was happening and the, the struggle of, of these people to see if they could work together and carry forward a, a great new project. Uh, the other scene that sticks with me after all these years particularly was a scene where the, uh, I guess, sort of the lead character, Johannes Tomasius, the artist, is in what Rudolf Steiner calls the etheric world, the world of life forces and formative forces. And uh, he is experiencing this, and this is a world that's always in movement. And uh, the props, the whole stage set, was being moved by Eurythmus. So the whole scene came to life in that way and uh, it was really quite uh, mind-blowing to use the prosaic American expression. And uh, the idea that this could continue is, is very exciting to me. I think uh, uh, Rudolf Steiner had other things he had to do when the war was finally over, but uh, he described a certain arch and and to go forward with that now especially out of the experience that I know Mark Levine has had with with both Eurythmy and speech and drama at this level of quality is very exciting and I, I hope it can happen.